LCD 1602 display. The LCD 1602, which I'll just be refer referring to as the LCD display going forward, is a liquid crystal display which displays 16 characters per line and it only has two lines. Um, it is also just happens to be the exact same display that we use on our LCD shield on our shields kit, which I will shamelessly per be promoting here shortly. <laughs> the only difference between this LCD and the one in our shields kit is that the one in the shields kit is quite easier to wire. In fact, there is no wiring. You quite literally just plop it on your board. Um, while this is obviously the non-shielded version, so we have to wire up all those pins individually. If you are interested in the shield version, you can check out our store page and take a look for the shield kit and it's included in there. So to wire this bad boy up, you will need your breadboard. Unfortunately, there's no direct wiring for this one. I would have made a simple wiring, but that is not going to happen this time. A 220 ohm resistor and a potentiometer. The potentiometer here will be used for changing the brightness of the LCD display. So make sure that it is not too far to the right or too far to the left or else the characters will appear invisible. I'll have Balray put up the wiring chart and diagram on screen if you need to pause. Otherwise, it'll be down below the video, assuming you're on our course page. Moving along, the code will also require a library to install. This is the same library as our Shields Kit LCD library found on inventor.io slash libraries. It is also available by default inside of the Arduino IDE, and that is liquidcrystal.h. Um, so as it was already included with the Arduino IDE, I was able to hit verify. If you weren't able to hit verify and you got an error saying that this wasn't here, for whatever reason, it is again at inventor.io slash libraries, all the library needs you'll ever need for any components we have in your kit, they will be located there. So when we run the code, boom, as you can see, it should populate with characters. Uh, if you don't, make sure you check the wiring diagram or change up the potentiometer brightness. You'll notice if I turn it too far to the left, you'll see there is nothing here. And if you also turn it all the way to the right, there is um, a little bit of a, uh, it, it obviously is like a little bit too much for the display. So there's a sweet spot that I've noticed that's just slightly kind of to the left of it, if that makes any sense. Although not too much, because then you can't see it again. Anyway, so make sure you check those in case you're having any issues with uh, anything displaying on it. It could just be something as simple as I made the mistake of plugging in this resistor here into ground and then it just looked exceedingly dark. Um, so make sure of course that you have the ground and uh, power wires co connected properly as well. If you would like some neat projects, a ton of them actually, we have games, how to make custom characters for the display and a whole bunch more. You can check out our shields course at inventor.io slash shields. And this takes uh, this awesome component from the shield library, which I was shilling earlier. <laughs> in much more depth. Check it out or not, it's up to you, I guess. But that's it for the LCD display. Thank you guys. Mm -hmm.